Well, I think America has a very powerful national myth, which is that it is a nation of immigrants. And that myth, of course, uh, runs counter to a long history of also excluding immigrants through various laws and, and um, uh, acts that have been passed to curb foreign immigration, non-white foreign immigration. So it's an interesting position to be in because at this particular moment in history there is a great deal of um, racism, Islamoph Islamophobia and sexism uh, that in fact sort of uh, immigration laws in the U.S. In fact, at the moment, as I'm speaking to you right now, there is a complete halt on immigration to the United States because of the pandemic. But in any case, this double identity as an immigrant and as a citizen, I think has greatly informed my writing. I would not be the writer that I am today. Um, I would be a different writer if I hadn't been an immigrant. Being an immigrant has informed a lot of my creative work. It has made me very engaged with questions of identity and belonging. And if I hadn't been an immigrant, maybe I would have engaged with other questions uh, as a writer. So I think it has played a huge role in who I am as a writer. So I live in Los Angeles and um, that's about, I would say, about 150 miles from where the story is set, uh, which is in the desert. And about 10 years ago, my husband and I started going to that area to go backpacking and camping and hiking. And I had never been to the desert. A number of people think that because I was born in Morocco, somehow I'm familiar with the desert. And of course, I'm from the capital city and I've never, I've never been South America even. Um, and so, but going to the Mojave was for me really almost a spiritual experience because it was so immense and so beautiful and so quiet that I wanted I, I was just very drawn to that landscape and I wanted to set a novel in it. Um, the second reason, and this has to do more with sort of narrative uh, reasons, I decided to set the story in a small town because having uh, the center of it be a, a hit and run accident, it just made more sense to have it be in a small town where you could suspect anybody because anybody could be the person who was behind the wheel but if I said it in Los Angeles which is a city of eight million people I think it would have taken away from the suspense that is included in in the book and the third reason for setting it in the Mojave is that there is this inaccurate perception that immigrants are basically people who live in big metropolises, you know, on the east or west coast. And in fact, there's a great number of immigrants that live in rural areas and have been remaking the American small town. And so to me, that was kind of an interesting um, thing to explore in this novel, to kind of subvert those expectations that people have about immigrants.